Oh wow, we we uh, we're getting past Iowa. We're actually able to get to this point. Okay. Ladies and gents, it's Cyberline coming back to another album review from Slipknot. Volume 3 is Subliminal Verses. So, at this point, Slipknot had released Iowa and, of course, their debut. And I think. The band wanted to try try something a little different. I think Iowa had taken so much out of them, they, they really need to, needed to uh, uh, mellow out a little bit. I think they also needed to break from each other, which they did. And I also felt like during that time, that gave them time to work on whatever each member was going through and give them more clarity about how they want to proceed as a band and how they want to treat each other and how they want to make music together because Iowa was just such a negative, dark, just awful experience for all the members from what I've read and what has been stated. Doesn't mean the, the, the album isn't good, the album is, is, is a masterpiece, but at the same time, um, a, lot, a lot of problems so that need to be resolved. Um, I believe, with this album, I think Corey was clean. He had detox from drug use, or I think, again, I forget if he was doing it during this time or not. But one notable thing about this album is there's no cuss words. Somebody had pissed off Corey Taylor at some point between the first two albums and this one that there was, they were pretty much insinuating that, oh, does this guy know how to say anything except cuss words? And can he, I bet you can't do anything like that. He can't make a song without cuss words. And Corey's like, oh, is that right? Well, fuck you. Uh, not only am I going to make a song without cuss words, I'll do a whole fucking album without cuss words, you cocksucker. And uh, that's what he did. Uh, and I, I, I remember when I listened to this album, I didn't, I never paid attention to it. It just... The album was so hard as it was that that didn't even catch my attention until so, until it got mentioned. I was like, oh really? Oh, okay. The, the, the music was so aggressive and hard-edged that it never caught my attention until it was brought up. So, Duality comes out and people are loving it. It's got people's attention. Uh, and I guess this was the song that opened up more people to be open to slip. Me, it was kind of like, throughout it was cool, but it, uh, it really wasn't that song that got me interested in Slipknot. Actually, it was two songs. It was Pulse of the Maggots, and it was um, uh, The Blister Exist. And I would probably say uh, Before I Forgot. But I think before I forgot, like I think before I forgot was the nail in the coffin for me to go buy the album because not necessarily the song, it was the video. It's probably one of my favorite videos in general by any band that I listen to. And the reason why is because at the time nobody really knew what Slipknot looked like. Um, and then with the video saw, you see them all getting down and doing their thing, but you, you don't you see their face blurred out. But you see the mask, but they're not wearing it. But you see everything else blurred out to an extent about what they look like. And I think that was the turning point for me. Let's go. I need to listen to this album, and I need to make a decision if I'm going to buy it or not. And let's do it. I bought it. And at that point, I was like, I know a couple songs from Iowa and the debut, so let me just get those two, and I got all three. Um. And 
listened to it, and it was a different atmosphere to an extent. A lot, a lot more mellow in some sense, but not too much. It just wasn't as abrasive as Iowa. I, like again, that's never. I don't see that ever happening again. And I, I really hope it doesn't. I really hope it doesn't. It's, you know, sometimes it's just best to let an album have its moment and not repeat it. Sometimes it's just better. Um. Was it? Was it a track I didn't like? I do know that a lot of people got interested and got involved with the band when they heard Vermillion. That wasn't me. I just, the song's cool, but that wasn't the song that it wasn't one of my song, go to songs. And it's not one of my top five. Uh, my rating for this album is a four and a half out of five. I just feel like um, it's a wonderful album, but. It was if it was a, maybe just as abrasive as the first time, I'd probably give it a, give it a five. But again, it, it, yeah, that's my opinion. It's still a great album. Uh, top five tracks that supposed to exist before I forgot. Three uh, Neil, yeah, Three Neil, Pulse the Maggots, and Circles. Circles was was something different. Because they hadn't done that yet. So that, that was it. I love that song too. It's so different. Um, I would say if you're getting into Slipknot, it's a good way to start. If you just want to kind of open up to them, and then once you kind of got this thing, go take a look at the first album uh, or the other stuff. I, I would say do it like that. I do know that there was some controversy also with the producer Rick Rubin. I guess Corey felt some type of way about him saying he wasn't really a part of making the album, but he gets credit and a bunch of fucking drama. I will say that whatever Rick Rubin did, even if it was very little, it did, in my opinion, help this album become what it was at the time. And, you know, even if Rick Rubin was only there for two days, him just being there, or whatever he did, even if even if the quarry wasn't very much, it, it made an impact on me to buy the album. Not take away from the band, but you know, Rick Rubin has produced a lot of good stuff, and whatever he did, his aura, whatever it was, I feel it made this album, and it helped me become a fan. Yeah, I understand Corey has his views on that, but at the same time, um, it's a great album. It's a great introduction to the band, and it's a, in my opinion, a good starting point. Now, whether you decide how, how you want to rank it is your call, but if you want to get into the band, I would say this is a good way to start, because there's so many tracks that are not so in your face, they kind of take the foot off the gas just a little bit, to get you kind of looking around at what this has to offer. So, with that being said, you know, we'll uh, cue the music. 